I used to call everything I did uh, street photography. Um, I started to learn more and more about photojournalism and sort of being able to tell a story, a narrative. Um, I would capture a quirky, candid moment. Uh, but then I started to be more enraptured in, you know, telling uh, a broader story across multiple photographs and seeing like maybe a consistent theme that would emerge in my photographs. Oftentimes, when you think about an important historic, uh, historical event, you think about what it looks like in your head before you think about the actual story. Like if you think about something like uh, the March on Washington, you get imagery in your head. You know, you don't think about, you might think about the speeches and, and whatnot, but immediately images come to your head. And so you have this sort of worldview that is put together by photographs. And I think it's um, a really cool uh, context to add to history. Uh, the difference that my photography as a young African American male, uh, you know, plays between my, myself and maybe others, is that I, I'm coming there with a uh, a mindset, a historical context of what's happened before, um, what I'm I'm working towards. Because as a young male myself, I'm working to make the world a better place. As an African American male, I'm working to uh, dissolve racism, working to. Uh, uh, get our country on better progressive politics, you know, make a stronger uh, democracy. And I put um, my subjects often in a, a narrative or an empowering light, like the um, young lady or beautiful light, that something that is supposed to give hope or meaning to them.